Hi, I'm Kevin, your Wayfaring Tai Chi mechanic from the Awareness.Website. And this is video number one of our five principles series of videos. This one's on the 45 degree angle step, uh, getting to the root of your Tai Chi. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the other videos that are coming up in this series. And stay to the very end because we've got another great story of Mr. Moy in Memories of Mr. Moy. Okay, so here we are. This is the first video on the Five Principles series. This video is on the 45 degree angle step. So it's a fairly basic thing. And the idea of this is helping you get to the root. So being able to stabilize yourself. Now, just a, a, a quick thing about the principles is the principles are about alignment. So they're about lining up the body. The foundations are about timing. So combining those two things, the timing and the alignment, help give you, it, it helps to strengthen and condition the body. So these principles are working on alignment. So now with the 45 degree angle step, if you remember back in the foundations with the Toyus, we talked about having your feet together, turning one foot out to 45 degrees and the other foot straight ahead. So this gives you a 45 degree angle step. Now all the steps are pretty much based on that. There are a couple of moves that have slight exceptions to that, but one way or the other, throughout the, the, the sequence of movements, you will be in a 45 degree step for the most part. And it might be a full step, so you might be in a full Toyu type step, or perhaps going through a brush knee, you'll have that 45 degree angle with the back foot and the other foot straight ahead. Now, for moves like whip to one side, you'll have this half step with one foot touching slightly in front of the other, but it's still at a 45 degree angle step. And that helps to keep the body lined up when you're moving through the moves, so when you're going through a brush knee, that 45 degree angle step keeps your body at a certain angle so that when you move forward it keeps your body lined up so your hip joints, your leg bones are lined up with the rest of the body. So it's a very important thing to start to understand and just to give you a, a short breakdown on the first couple of moves you know, just to help you understand this so if I'm starting from this position with my feet parallel, the first movement, and we're just going to work with the feet, so we're not going to worry about the arms here. The first pivot is on the heel, and there now is my straight ahead step. The second pivot is with the back foot, and that goes to my 45 degree angle. Now, when I make the next step for left grass bird's tail, I'm going to step 45 degrees from this foot. So I'm stepping off 45 degrees. And then I'm going to move forward onto this foot. And then I'm going to step 45 degrees for Grassbird's tail straight off of this foot. So now I've still got a 45 degree angle step. And you'll find that going through all the moves, each angle, so with a brush knee, you're making this pivot step you're going to pivot, come up. That is setting up your 45 degree angle for the next brush knee. So as you go through those moves, try and pay attention to that 45 degree angle and you'll start to see how the body starts to line up with that and that should help improve your balance and the alignment in going to the next step. And so now, Memories of Mr. Moy. I'm going to share with you a story. Uh, this is a time where I had been practicing my Tai Chi for probably five or six years. And I had left Calgary and I'd gone and I was teaching up in Red Deer for a while. And then I'd gone to work, you know, up further north. And I'd come back to Calgary. But I didn't go back to Tai Chi right away. 
and I'd gone and I'd done some other martial arts, I'd been practicing other martial arts, doing lots of other things. Um, and at one point I decided um, that I needed to go back to Tai Chi and, and largely because the other martial arts were affecting my body in a negative manner. And so I thought, well, maybe I'd uh, just go back. And I happened to go back at the time where Mr. Moy was doing a workshop. And so I'd, I'd come in and, uh, you know, greeted Mr. Moy. And at one point throughout the workshop, we were sitting together and uh, Mr. Moy's translator was sitting with me and, and, and him. And he just, they were talking about a few things and, you know, I was kind of, engaging in the conversation and at one point, you know, conversation had died down and Mr. Moy just turned to me and he had said something and translator says, Mr. Moy wants to know where you've been. And I said, well, just been on an adventure. And Mr. Moy just sort of smiled after the translator relayed that back and we just sort of smiled and nodded and said, good to have you back. And that was a very interesting thing for me. You know, like he wasn't upset that I'd been gone. Um, there was no attitude or anything that, oh, now I'm back and you know I've got to prove myself or anything like that. Um, you know, he, he then asked me, well, are you teaching yet or are you instructing? And I said, not yet, but I plan to. And, and he was happy with that. And uh, you know, a lot of people are concerned about you know. There, there's the old tradition that you have to stay with one teacher and you can't have, you know, more than one teacher. And Mr. Moy himself had many teachers um, that he learned many things from. And Mr. Moy, one of the things that he had said was all he asked for is respect. And, you know, he never said that you can't share this. I mean, while you were an instructor uh, in, in his organization, you stayed with that organization and you didn't teach outside that, out of respect. But it, uh, if you weren't part of that organization, um, he still asked just simply respect where, you, where your learning came from. So he never said you couldn't share it. Um, he just simply said, understand what you're doing and what you're sharing. And one of his main objectives was to make this available to everybody. And so, we're making it available to everybody. See you later.